It's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful. Look at that sky in that green Bermuda. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Easter. It is April the 9th, 2023. And I'm doing this video. This is the second video I've done today. I forgot to do the one year review on the Mow and Go system. So it is, I believe, one year and four or five days. So let's go over. So it's still on the 89 Chevy K1500. And let me just give you a quick overview here. If you haven't seen this video before, or haven't seen these in action, uh, there's pen here. On this side, just comes right out, just like that. I absolutely love this thing. The only thing that I've done as far as modifying it is I added these um, non-slip grips because this thing is super, super slippery when it's wet, either from the morning dew or from the rain. Um, I would have put some here, but it would uh, interfere with the sign, but I have it on any area where I would actually walk. And even on the times where we've had frost and ice, no slippage at all. So, what kind of problems have I had with this Mow & Go for the last year? Zero. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It has been flawless. Um, I had to readjust the dovetail one time. Um, and it's pretty much stayed, stayed put where I had it. This has, um, the paint that I used on here has held up really well. It was the Rust-Oleum. I primed it and painted it. I have a video on that. You can check it out if you want. But yeah, nothing, no issues. The hinges every at every point have stayed stable. Nothing is cracked, nothing is bent, nothing has broken. And I'm gonna tell you what, the times that I've had to use my trailer for mostly for leaf cleanups and debris removal and stuff, and I've used the Tundra here. I miss that ramp so much. Um, I am looking to get, probably get another truck. <clears throat> I need something that's a long bed and or, well, I need something that's not a, fifth, uh, a, one, a half ton. I need a three quarter or one ton truck, preferably a, a long bed. Uh, but at least one with an extended cab. It is really tight and cramped in my truck with all the stuff that I have in there. And sometimes I have somebody helping me and it's, it's not a good situation. So, uh, but when I get another truck, uh, I probably will keep this ramp on this truck and just get another mow and go, but I'm going to get the option where I can pull a trailer with it. They, um, Dale has an option that you can get that replaces a piece that goes into your hitch that also has a receiver on the other end. So you can pull uh, another trailer. You can't pull a really heavy, I don't think, really like a dump trailer or anything. But, you know, another la little landscape trailer that would be really helpful if I could take my mower with me on cleanups. Um, I could take my trailer with me so and I wouldn't have to use the Tundra. I don't like using this for work. But anyway... The only other thing that I added was uh, I put these handles on that Dale sent me here and here. And then I put one handle here, it's just a peg handle. So I can lift it up like this if I want. If I'm on this side, I'll lift it down. It's just a piece of uh, black iron pipe with, uh, I believe this is a six inch bolt and a fender washer. So works really, really well. And the, uh, the question, obviously, that I probably already answered is, would I buy another one? Absolutely, I would buy another one. 
brilliant. These things are really, really good. I don't know. He's always improving on his product. I don't know if this ramp has changed since I bought it a year ago. Um, the only thing that I would do, and I would suggest that you do, is I don't... This thing was a pain in the rear to paint. I did it in this garage um, because of the weather. It was really cold when I did it. Uh, I would suggest he does have an option. I know he used to have an option to powder coat them. I don't know if it's powder coated or painted, but whenever I get another truck and I, I get another ramp, I will take that option because it's a mess to paint those things. I, I used a lot of primer. <laughs> I mean, I did, did a good job, but I just, I don't want to have to do that again. I just want to get it and bolt it on. So, but yes, I'm very, very happy, very pleased with it. I have a lot of people, a lot of landscapers. I've never seen anybody with one of these. And um, it's a uh, guy going up the street with a little kid on a four-wheeler. There, yeah, you're in Georgia. So anyway, uh, I've never seen another landscaper around here with one of these and i always always get weird, weird looks when they see the mower my trim star sitting in the back of the truck so super happy with it and i can't recommend it enough if you're if you're on the fence uh, i don't know anything about the ramp rack um i know that it's heavier this is a lighter option but i really like this this ramp is really strong i think it weighs like 250 pounds um, I did put helper springs on the back, like an added leaf, on the back of the truck because it was squatting so much. Because I'm at max capacity on this truck with the mower and all the gear and the and the ramp. It's I may be over a little bit or right at how much this truck can handle, but no complaints whatsoever. This is a great great setup, and the rack is phenomenal. It's uh, it's really a good setup. So. I just wanted to do this quick review, give you guys an update. I will continue to use it. I'm very pleased with it and can't recommend it enough. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys on the next one.